Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're gonna do the daily challenge today. Kind of our daily exercise to make sure we don't lose any Isaac skill. That's today's daily. Looks like we're playing as Eden going to Satan Cat. You must not eat the plastic on my desk. You must preserve yourself. Why am I like the embodiment of the instincts you should have for survival? Don't eat plastic, man. Eat eat meat and dehydrated like rabbit liver or whatever is in the cat food. I don't know. I've never sampled it myself. Um, there's yesterday's daily. It's by far the best we've ever done. We could have actually shot over 50,000 if we had just uh, not taken so much damage. But still, uh, rank 85th is I'm pretty impressed. Let's see if we can uh, if we can keep that going here today. As Eden, I think that might be Latin. No, that's got to be Eden. Eden with Blue Baby's only friend, Guppy's paw. Looks a little bit like a weird uh, bony crown there. Cat, is this gonna be an issue? You know, I hate to do it, buddy. You're my best friend in this whole world, but I think you've got to vacate for now. Give me goodbye. Come back in 45 minutes when we're done. Okay, let's do this. Um. Also a really, really good rate of fire, it seems like, right off the bat. Let me just say, uh, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm the guy who is, uh... Well, it's not a basement XL, so we don't need to worry too much about red heart damage, uh, obviously, considering how many spirit arts we have right now. But, um, I'm the guy who loves Blue Baby's only friend. I'm the guy who's always like, this is a really good item, uh, I'm a huge fan, I think it carries you through the majority of the game. Especially if we're not going as far as the Dark Room of the Chester, you know, God forbid, fighting Mega Satan, we're gonna be doing, like, a colossal amount of damage here, which is awesome, and we'll open up this golden chest. Get an Emperor card. So we traded a bomb and a key for an Emperor card. We could get value out of the, the Emperor card, probably to teleport out of a curse room or something like that, and mostly I'm stoked that we got an extra, um, an extra key, so that we don't have to worry about not being able to get... Ah, oh, it's so fucking bad. <laughs> People keep telling me, it's not bad in L, you just don't know how to use it. Yo, you may be right, okay? But I don't think you are. That was the polite way of me being like, you may be right, but come on. D12, and I'm not talking about the Detroit Rap Collective of the same uh, moniker. We're gonna take the D12 just to see if we got any uh, consumables out of that room. Obviously it didn't work out exactly the way I wanted, uh, but we did get a good reroll. We'll hold Guppy's Paw just because it, it has a tendency to be better, but, um... And by better, I mean, like, it'll actually do something, which is sweet. Alright, let's fight Monstro. Um, I, I think that there's pretty much no conceivable way in which we die in the first few floors here. Blue Baby's only friend is... It, it makes other damage upgrades non-essential, or at least not as time-sensitive. Like, it, it means that we'll be able to kill enemies extremely easy here. Easily, I guess I should say. Tears up, shot speed up. No problem there. Screw is a good pickup. We also got the extra HP out of the um, out of the Eternal Heart that we picked up there. And I've got to admit, because our starting stats are so good, there are some rooms where ooh, retro vision just annoying. Nothing else really. Um, there are some rooms where I'll probably uh, endeavor to use my tears as opposed to using Blue Baby's only friend. Even though Blue Baby's only friend is going to be better on DPS, there may be some rooms like maybe even that one right there. Um, where it's just more, you know, time efficient for us to, to use our own tears. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna spend any money on this. I think tough love is good enough. And if these runs are curated, which again, I have no idea whether or not they are. Uh, I don't want to be the guy who got like nine luck upgrades but rerolled tough love into like Bob's Curse or something like that. Not that Bob's Curse is necessarily bad, it's just not obviously what we're looking for. So, I, I've got an itchy trigger finger. That was a terrible uh, bit of damage there. I've got an itchy trigger finger when it comes to the Emperor, but I'm not gonna pop it yet. It's so much more advantageous if we can actually save it for later. Trying to get uh, Blue Baby's only friend to cover the hitbox where that tear came out of, but uh, didn't quite work according to plan, but still, super, super easy. We get Speedball, which is okay, and of course we will take Gimpy. More red hearts and uh, also a lot more spirit hearts because we'll get one, or at least the chance for one whenever we get hit. And now this run is looking like if they want to curate a run and make it super luck focused, we've already got two really great luck upgrade items in the form of uh, Gimpy and Tough Love. So uh, there's nothing I can really complain about on this one so far. Um, wait a minute, let's open this. That was a terrible decision. 
and we'll head down to the next floor. Feeling great, not necessarily incredibly overpowered or anything like that just yet, but um, certainly nothing wrong with what's happening on this run. It's, uh, okay, I'm a little over retrovision though, I gotta admit, uh, you know, it, it, the, it's overstated, it's welcome a little bit. Did we get one? I think we got one. Yeah. Okay. Again, can't overstate the value of Blue Baby's only friend. Most of the time, I probably would be less inclined to use a key to open a, um, just a random golden chest if it's our last remaining key, but I, I'm gonna take that uh, most of the time given the opportunity on dailies, just in case there's something awesome inside of it. And because we, you know, we're focused on points to a large extent, and uh, the more consumables you get, the more points you get. So even if we find ourselves unable to access an item room, there is like a little bit more of a, a kind of like cherry on top. Never should have done that. That was uh, piss poor damage. I basically just tried to save myself like a quarter of a second. Uh, and that was not worth the, uh, the penalty that we'll take for that damage. But you know what? We'll smarten up. We'll try to do better. I don't think we're going to be able to match yesterday's uh, yesterday's rank, just statistically speaking, as much as I would like to. Um, if we could, you know, that's awesome, but uh, we're going to have to take less damage. The, the real thing yesterday, people were like, wow, your score is so good, how'd you do it? I just didn't get hit very much. There was some, you know, unfortunate situations where I took damage I probably should not have taken, but for the most part, I, I played... Uh, you know, from a position of strength and, and was confident, didn't take damage I had no business taking, and as a result, we we got out of it without getting hit more than, at, you know, at most a dozen times, but I think even less, to be honest with you, so... We're already done with this room. I, uh... I'd like to replicate that today. But we'll see. If we can just at least beat... If we can get everything done on today's daily, if we can beat Boss Rush, and we can beat, uh, Hush, and get the maximum bonus for both of those, I would consider that to be a pretty huge win. A deal with the devil here would go a long way towards making that happen. We didn't get it, but we got uh, more HP that we can eventually use uh, with Guppy's Paw, perhaps. And we're coming close to the end of this floor. You know what I'm gonna say. There's no, uh, there's no uh, keys available right now. That makes it pretty tough for us to get inside of our uh, item room. But uh, it is what it is. If we can't open it up, we can't open it up. If we can't open it up, we'll open it up, and we'll probably take whatever's inside. Unless it's an active item, or actually in many cases, I guess, here. Ah, that was so dumb. Even if it's an active item. Uh, again, preventable damage. But again, life sort of goes on here. Uh, let's head up. What was Bear's score? Bear had a score that was like 30-something thousand. We can get in there. We can compete with that. Ouija board is not good, but it's, uh, it's good enough to not kick up a big fuss about, I guess. This is probably our secret room. I think it's worth a, worth a shot, at least. And I was really hoping for keys. We didn't get keys. Instead, we got a golden bomb. Older than the Bible. So, at the very least, we kind of owe it to the run to, to try to make something happen with this golden bomb. So, any consumables that can be blown up, we'll consider second secret rooms. Oh, we already found the second secret room. Second secret room's a bunch of red hearts, which seems to be the norm for this run. So I think uh, at this point, we will head downwards. And would have been awesome to have gotten that a little earlier. But, uh, you know, you can, if you could turn back time, uh, that would probably be the first thing on my list of things to, to fix, you know. Don't, don't play the stock market. You know, don't um, go back and study for that all-important test. Instead, go back in time and uh, pick up that golden bomb a little earlier so we could get through that floor more simply. I'm not a huge fan of the, you know, take one damage per floor meta we've got going on here. We can play better than this, I know, because we have played better than that. A, a curse chest, uh, I don't think it's worth it, honestly. That's not a point decision, I just think I'd rather have the spirit hearts for later. Um, I'd, I'd rather have the opportunity to turn our red hearts into spirit hearts for later, is what I mean to say. So, uh, that was a great curse chest, though, from a financial standpoint. And we got a Spirit Heart back, and then this room gave us, you know, the ability to basically double our money again, so... Let's just go to town here. Blow up this, hoping to get a little bit more, um, fuel, basically, to play this again, which is exactly what happened. And we're up to 39 cents now, and definitely eager to go to our, uh, our shop. Uh, again, terrible damage. The, the shot speed from Blue Baby's only friend is starting to come back and bite us in the ass a little bit. 
We have not taken red heart damage. I w that's an important distinction to make right now. Um, we haven't fucked up our deal with the devil chance. And we will endeavor not to. But it was piss poor play. I'm very disappointed this is a greed fight because I was hoping to buy a spirit heart. Instead, uh, we'll just we'll hang tough here. No, we won't. We will we will use Guppy's paw once. It was a tough decision for me, but I think it's the right decision to guarantee us the best chance. Oh my god, these golden chests. To guarantee us the best chance possible to deal with the devil here. That uh, that room with the spider was real nasty for us. I take full responsibility for the the damage we took in there. He's just a little bit faster than um, than Blue Baby's only friend, and that created some problems for us. But you know, I think it's a mistake to throw Blue Baby's friend uh, under the bus for that. I still think Blue Baby's only friend is going to be doing way, way more damage than we are with our tier. I hate fighting the stain dog, but we are already finished. Okay, so we got safety pin, which is okay. Two more guppy items. This is so sad because I got rid of one of our red hearts, but we will take Guppy's hairball. And then we will take Guppy's head. And then I will shit myself, but I will also be Guppy. So this is very, very scary. Um I no, I guess it wouldn't have mattered if I turned my red hearts into spirit hearts, you would have been in the same situation. Um we gotta, we gotta explore a little bit. Now we're gonna be summoning a lot of flies, so we don't have as much of a, a risk inherent here um, when it comes to like low damage. At the same time, it does mean that any single enemy could hit us once and kill us. So, well, not any enemy, but any champion and many enemies. So we're looking for yeah, tears up's fine, but man, we need like a balls of steel. Emperor is like not what we need, but this could be. So I will gamble on this a little bit. As far as I'm concerned, we're like one spirit heart away from being, you know, I don't want to say saved, but safe. Or safer, at least. Um, so we have an Emperor card. I don't really want to open that and fight those guys, uh, if that's if that's what we're going to do. What we should do is um, go into our curse room and then teleport out with the Stars card. We could also do that on our Mob Trap room with an Emperor card, but I don't think it's the right selection. Might as well try to get value out of this room. We already have gone into it. Um, we'll stars card out. Still don't want mom's pad. So what I'm thinking maybe on the next floor is we we try to minimize the, the risk inherent to ourselves. Is there another um, fortune teller up here? There is. So you know what? Let's gamble on this for a little bit. But assuming we don't get uh, a spirit heart or crystal ball, both of which would be very valuable... Um, Bloody Penny probably worth more than Samson's Lock, even in our current situation. Two of clubs, yeah, sure. Um, that that was great, by the way. We did we did very well there. Not from a skill standpoint, but from a, a reward standpoint. So uh, we'll maybe pop this Emperor card right away on the next floor. Nah, it's not as good. We're holding Bloody Penny for the chance it might be worth something in the future. But um, pop the Emperor card right away on this floor. As a result. Maybe get an HP upgrade pretty quickly that we can use to our advantage. I would like to fight in that room, honestly, just to um, maximize our chances of uh, of getting points, basically. But we're kind of in this awkward period right now where I'm like, you know, points matter, but at the same time, I really need to survive. Like, survival is also pretty important. We kind of got a shit draw for this boss. I mean, we're doing fine, thankfully, but uh, Brownie, you know, no slouch. We didn't get an HP upgrade. We got Synth Oil, which is fine um we got enemies that teleport which is a little bit dangerous not quite done yet there we go so our basically we're gonna just try to scrounge up as many spirit hearts as we can on this floor and i got high hopes for it i mean we've got a really really nice run built here and provided we don't panic i think th there's no reason that this run uh necessarily has to get shit on like, this this is a really strong run. If I had this on a normal run, I'd probably be, you know, relatively excited about it, to be honest with you. It would have changed everything if one of the Guppy transformation items had been Guppy's, uh, oh, the nine lives. But, uh, it wasn't. So, instead, we got to scrounge a little bit. And that's, you know, I can look at the leaderboards then and be like, okay, <laughs> I can understand 
that this is kind of a breaking point for, for people. This is where a lot of people are not going to make it. Some people will, some people won't. Um, okay, golden, uh, golden Heart isn't really that useful for us. Things become very important for us very quickly here uh, because we need to stack up enough HP to give us a great chance at boss rush. And we have the damage. That's not even a, like close to being a contest. We will have enough damage to do boss rush easily. The question is, will we have enough HP to insulate myself from, you know, walking into two red poops or something like that? Something that can, you know, quite easily happen. Do we want to go into our curse room? Oh, Fate's Reward is okay. Uh, I think for half a Spirit Heart, our curse room is not a bad idea. Especially good if we can get a Telepills. Uh, which is not that. Or any kind of teleporter. Doesn't have to be Telepills. Piggy Bank is acceptable. In some ways. And uh, not acceptable in others. Every key matters at this point as well. One thing we don't have a shortage of for sure is time. We can pretty much take as long as we need to here. Infested. Uh, again, the more information we gleam about these pills, the happier I, I become. We may one day be able to use these to our advantage. So we ended up not getting any more spirit hearts on this floor. Again, time is not of the essence right now. So, why don't we go into this room and open it up, hope for a spirit heart. Didn't get it. Plenty of red hearts if we're able to one day uh, pick up a red heart container, though. We've upped our damage by something on this floor. A lot of purchasing power. Another golden heart. I don't even know what that does for us at this point. I still think Bloody Penny's very valuable considering we have the piggy bank and we can just get some HP. And we'll check this. And it could still be worth it. I doubt it will be, but it could still be worth it. Lover's card, not worth anything. Algiz rune, extraordinarily valuable. Yeah, that's that's huge. So if we can pop that on boss rush, you know, how much less damage do we take as a result of that? Probably quite a lot, if I had to guess. Thought maybe that could be a secret room, but uh, kind of wishful thinking, maybe. Not our second secret room. Not our second secret room, but I might have pushed that bomb a little too far. I'm not sure. Uh, all in all, a somewhat disappointing floor. I can't deny it, but uh, we're not in a difficult spot, necessarily. Just in a spot that's more difficult than I would like it to be. So this is the kind of room that has the potential to define this floor. As we've seen it do in both directions many times before. If you pull out, um, you know, a Balls of Steel... Uh, not Balls of Steel, I guess, but um, a Hierophant card or, you know, a, a bunch of black hearts or demon hearts from these uh, skulls, you're sitting pretty, right? If you uh, if you get hit by the fires ten times, well, you're not. Two of spades. Worth popping. You're a fine. Magician! Not worth it. Last bomb, unfortunately. Could have gotten better payout there. Um, okay. So, we're still in it. <laughs> I'm actually not not that nervous about this one. I think we've got a good chance to, to pull away with Boss Rush. Um, and if Boss Rush gives us a good item, which we will not know because of Curse of the Blind, uh, even better. But the Algiz rune is, is very pivotal t for making that happen. Um, shop would be great too, like a Hive Mind pickup. Mapping so much less valuable than just like a lot of extra damage at this point. Which is largely true, I'll admit, in, in most runs, but... Specifically in this one as well. I think Guppy's Head might be a disproportionately good uh, daily item. No, it doesn't seem to give you points when it's used. Okay. Disregard my train of thought. You can see where I was going with it, but I'm not going to explain my uh, specious reasoning to you. Because there's no point. It was, uh, it was based in ignorance, and I uh, apologize for it. The Magician. We'll just pop it. I doubt it's gonna make too much of a difference on a, a room like this where we can stay pretty far away anyway, but might as well check. There is a Spirit Heart for sale. There is a card for sale. It's a two of clubs. Not bad. Deep Pockets, more stuff to carry. Mom's Key. Less is more plus two keys. All things considered, two pretty good um, pickups there. Can we hold two Trinkets now? Because it's, you know, we picked up more uh, Deep Pockets. Said less is more, or more is more, or something like that. Um, so I can carry more stuff. I can hold a card, or two different cards, I should say, like starter deck. I wonder if it works like Mom's Purse as well. Maybe I can hold two different trinkets. 
This would be a great time for uh, Cricket's head. Instead, we get the world. Why keep two of clubs instead? We may we may enjoy having two of clubs one day. That was bad damage on my part, but there's a uh, golden heart that has come to fruition. And little Gish. Again, it's okay. <laughs> it's pretty much the story of our life on this run. It's okay. Let's use two of clubs, find our secret room. Alright, blow this guy up. We missed that guy. Uh, truth be told, we're probably better off saving our bombs to maybe find a second secret room. Uh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be important. These are gonna be important moments for us. Second secret room. Oh, pills, interesting. We can hold a pill and a card. These are all question marks. This one's relax. And then two infested pills. All right, well, that's something. One ma wait, one of them was one makes you small? I thought they were the same pill. I appear to have been grossly mistaken. Okay, so we're doing all right. Not getting hit on the mom fight would be ideal. Uh, we should take the negative, right? Because we're going down to I guess it doesn't matter which one we take, but we'll take the negative anyway. I was hoping this would be a Krampus fight. I really can't justify taking those now. Sometimes the right decision is no decision, but we have to do this. We got Key Bum. Uh, you know, if I do this over again, I'd probably take the item on the left. <laughs> it doesn't mean that Key Bum's not gonna do something for us, but uh, all, if all other things are equal, I'd rather have a, a second chance at picking what item I want there. And now, why you do boss rush in this situation? Your, your HP is not that good. Your damage is okay, but not necessarily stellar from a boss rush standpoint. We do these things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. This, this is where we're at right now. You know, we need the points. The daily is about competition. You know, like it or not, you can you can pull the dog out the fight, but you can't pull the fight out of the dog. It's not a joke about dog fighting. It's it's just you know an accidental quote of uh, what Ludacris said in the Ludacris film Hustle and Flow from 2004 or 2005 probably Terrence Howard best supporting actor anyway he's not a supporting actor he's actually the actor but you know, regardless um, what uh, what I'm saying is you know it's we got to be competitive on these ones if we're gonna play and then just be like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna live my life and see where we stand there's no point in doing the dailies we got to push ourselves a little bit part of the daily is about being uncomfortable and seeing how you deal with that level of discomfort uh, relative to the populace and then ascribing value judgments based on, you know, how well you do. Wow, the freaking dude must have no life beat me in the daily challenge. Wow, would look at this scrub. Didn't even come close to me in the daily challenge, no skill. It's the old, uh, the old video game trash talk adage, you know? Anybody who beats you has no life, anybody who you beat has no skill. Now, we're doing pretty well here. When do we pop algas? Probably, like, right after this wave. We'll only get, like, a couple of waves of value out of algas, but we should use it now. Uh, I didn't use it. I used whatever the other thing was we were holding, which I don't even remember at this point. Damn you, Deep Pockets! You've tricked me again! I don't remember what the other pill was. But it appears to have not harmed us too much. I don't think we have too many more waves after this. I think we've done enough boss rush lately that I'm getting kind of an innate sense of when it ends. You know, a, a sense memory that I, I can't necessarily consciously access, but I can feel uh, when it's available. All right, so we uh, saved ourselves dealing with some of the easiest waves in boss rush. Thank you, Algis Rune, and whatever the other pill was as well. Come on, Cage. No more jumps. No more jumps. I think we're getting fairly close to the end. I'm not just saying that because the Fallen's here. I might just be saying that because the Fallen's here. It's great. We didn't even have to deal with any of the Brimstone attacks. This dude is... He's an incredibly locomotive individual. Watch out for beam attacks from across the map. No, it's Ragman. Okay. The end? The end! Wow, that was fast. Ish. Ludovico technique. Oh, now we got like 
Blue Baby's only friend and uh, Blue Baby's other only friend. He's starting to become the most popular kid in school. Utero 1. We have to go slightly faster than, um, than normal, which is slightly faster than I'd like, but we should still be able to make it in time even without mapping. Um, I was just going to say things that can be a problem. Uh, rooms with mini bosses, but that one was clearly not an issue for us. Ludo is actually a top tier pickup, I think, uh, from the perspective of fighting the Hush. Because it means that our range is no longer a liability. We already had decent range, but now we have, like, incredible range. Which means that um, we can stand on the other side of the map and just let Ludo do its dirty work. And if we can get Ludo and Blue Baby's only friend uh, at the same time working, even better. So, this is good. And the more keys we have, the merrier. There was no need to spend two keys there, that's for sure. But we did get a Spirit Heart out of it, so it wasn't a total wash, in spite of my... Uh, complete waste of one key. So I'd like to be out of this floor by 24 if we could swing it, just to give us a little bit more leeway. Yeah, that's not a surprise that I got hit there. Um, if we can get out of this floor by 25, even 25-30, I'd probably be like, that's okay. We're not, we're not really under the gun too much. We don't really have the ability to... Um, Oh my god, you gotta hit something. I was trying to use Blue Baby's only friend, which is our first mistake. Because Ludo is faster and I think stronger and also gives us more uh, flies. Or maybe just flies in general. So we're gonna be out of here by 24 for sure. Kind of messing with my brain a little bit, the, the double, double Ludo tiers we got here. Two Spirit Hearts might even be more valuable at this point than, uh, than Small Rock. But I hesitate to say that, because it sounds like lunacy. Alright. So far, so good. Pageant Boy is a terrible pickup here. <laughs> we'll get it regardless, but good lord, that is demoralizing. Down to the next floor. Once we beat the Hush, we can take our sweet time. Explore all of every floor if we want to. As long as we don't take uh, a disproportionate amount of damage as a result of that, then um, it's, it's an acceptable strategic choice, I think. Yep, that's, that's not a surprise. But, Gimpy did pay out with a Spirit Heart there. Our Fly Army is doing a nice job of, of carrying us room to room. I don't think we need a ton. Uh, that sucks, but I don't think we need a ton in order to take down Mom's Heart here. And Hush, of course, we're going to generate so many just passively that, uh, that I'm going to be, I think, very happy, even in spite of the tears downgrade. I don't know if Blue Baby's only friend generates uh, generates flies for us. So eight keys. That's one more than we need to open absolutely everything. So I'm stoked because this is where we want to be. Um, although we aren't going to the chest. So all we have to do is finish Shoal properly. Well, this room is obviously a little bit of a waste of HP. Ruka, it's okay, buddy. I will attend to your needs. Uh forthwith oh my god we're spun which means we just got uh, the syringe transformation I think Perthro's fine I still think that um, bloody penny could be important for us but you know what we have no other oh we do have like a confusing tear effect I guess so we'll save Perthro the idea behind wow I don't know why mom stood there but I appreciate it let's check our deal with the devil uh, the idea is that we could save our HP, or save Perthro, sorry, and use it later. Alright, my cats. Hello. It has, it has vanished. That's okay. No curse. No curse. So we can actually see our items. We got more keys than we wasted, which is extremely nice. Uh, we got some luck upgrades and a ton of red hearts. Key beggar's trying to take my stuff, but one day. I don't know what that's supposed to mean one day. Uh, we should re-roll these. They're not good enough. Fruitcake is very dangerous, but we're going to take it nonetheless. Because with Ludo, it's going to be strange. And we should take a Spirit Heart. And I think we should take Chaos, just to be weird. And we'll take this, and we'll use it. Can we have two trinkets? We cannot have two trinkets. Which means we will have the tick. <laughs> and the tick alone. I thought maybe that... Oh, man. Holy mantle. It's so tough to say no to uh, 99 bombs, but... Uh, I, I thought that Deeper Pockets might have given us the option here, but no big deal either way. The option to hold two trinkets, I should say. So we gotta watch Fruitcake pretty closely to make sure it's it's still, you know, staying in there. 
dealing damage. But uh, as you can see, it's going pretty well so far. Firemine's going to be the killer because we're going to have to move our, our tier out of the way to... Or back into the way to deal with it. But I think it's worth it for getting stuff like, you know, Holy Shot and... Um, uh, well, anything that gives us extra damage. I don't know if we can get, like, Polythemus tiers out of it or what. Of course, we have Blue Baby's Only Friend. I don't know if Blue Baby's Only Friend is in there. We could probably, you know, Hush has a pretty big hitbox. We could probably get Blue Baby's Only Friend in there as well. Okay, thank you, Firemind. Much appreciated. You know, oftentimes I've been taking Fruitcake lately, and I've been kind of disappointed uh, in, in what it's done for me. I know we have Golden Bombs here. Might as well try to get as many different kinds of damage done as possible. Um, sticky Bomb Shots occasionally as well. Maybe it's Sticky Bomb Shots and not Fire Mind that's causing the explosions. Either way, it is a little annoying. Uh, and and Fruitcake is kind of... That's been my results with it lately. Is kind of a little, a little annoying. But I appreciate it for its variety. And that's pretty much the reason we've ended up taking it here. Try not to get uh, too many bombs in there because each one does carry a little bit of extra risk associated with it. We have been hit once, but it hasn't done any damage to us yet. Now we have been hit. We actually have both of our tiers close enough to maybe handle our shit here. Now it's Continuum Standstill. Um, thank you, Flies. Thank you, Flies. I actually didn't know we were safe there. I think we got kind of lucky. Yeah, let's move now. Luck up. I don't mind it. Well, if we're looking for a 35,000 point run, like Bear had, um, I think it's going to be close, honestly. I don't think this is necessarily going to be a foregone conclusion just because we made it this far. Thank you, Gimpy, by the way, for bringing our HP back when things look tough there. Why did I take multi-dimensional baby? Like, that's the one that makes no sense to me in hindsight. <laughs> there was just... There was no reason for that whatsoever. Alright, just stand in there. We can make it. We have made it. Good, 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 good. Uh, are we still... Well, we've been hit, but that's okay. Are we fast enough to get out of the way of this? This is the real question here. A little dangerous. Trying to get Blue Baby's only friend and uh, our individual tier in there. It's not working out usually. But if he just pops up like he wants to, I can feel it in his bones. We got him? No, because our tier exploded. Now we got him. Under the gun? Under my thumb? Oh, run. Keep running, now come back. Oh my god, he's like two hits away from death, but so are we. It was still worth it to, to do this fight, I think. Great stuff. Oh my god, he went low again. You're not supposed to go low, you're supposed to stay up, man. Like two hits away from death, there we go, okay. So, that was extremely dangerous. We're low on HP. Get the money. Is it helping? Yeah, it's a very small point bonus. Okay, then down to Shoal, and actually we may want to crack the world card and not explore the entirety of this floor. And this will perhaps save us a little time, and a little time could be a little heartache. So now we have Death's Touch Ludo Fruitcake, which I gotta admit, first off, bang up recipe for this holiday season. Secondly, I have no idea how this is going to manifest itself for the most part. I have a feeling that most of the time we're going to have a big spinning death scythe that has some other effect to it that is largely uh, not visible. By the way, this sounds awesome. Like a car battery guppy's head? Is this not just like um, six flies per room instead of, uh, instead of three? I think it is. We won't be able to tell because we already are generating so many, but um, th that seemed like a very worthwhile uh, use of my limited resources there. So actually, when I said that we weren't going to hit 35,000, we're going we're gonna to do better than 35,000 without a doubt. As long as we beat Satan and don't die. Which is somewhat debatable, because it's not um, obviously unforeseen for us to take uh, a little bit too much damage on the Satan fight. Or, in, you know, if we get hit on one room in advance of the Satan fight, 
that was a terrible bomb. But if we get hit on one room in advance of the Satan fight, that could that could pivot it pretty easily as well. There's 99 cents. It's a wooden nickel. Um, so hopefully we just don't get hit, and that would be a lot easier for my mental well-being. I'm gonna blow this guy up. I don't like the idea of it because the HP upgrade could be worth it, but we're we're gunning for points now. Put a bomb down. Get your tears ready. Great stuff. Now, uh, after the Fallen dies, it's the fly time to shine. And that was very fast. And then we'll finish this off. Uh, I, I've i now allowed myself to realize that uh, I think we're going to do just fine on today's daily. I think we did completely okay. So if we look at our score, 236. I think that's fair. We took way more damage than we should have. Uh, could have eked out another couple of thousand points there if I hadn't played as poorly, but overall, a relatively good daily. Let's look at this uh, as far as the leaderboards go. Sorry, Bear, not today. Uh, Luke, what are you doing, dog? 542? You feeling okay? I actually just put the back of my hand up to the monitor to feel Luke's temperature, make sure he doesn't have a fever. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.